Hey guys, it's Miss West Social Studies class. We're going to be talking about the rise of totalitarian leaders. But before we do, we have to talk about what Europe is like after World War I. It is in shambles. The economy is in ruins. Why? Because World War I destroyed cities and farms and everything else. So the European con economy is not doing super well. Of course, there's also uh, millions of people that are dead. The Treaty of Versailles is the treaty that took place after World War I, where the winners decided what was going to happen to the losers. And even though Italy was on the winning side of the war, Italy is not happy with the Treaty of Versailles. They were pretty much ignored. They wanted some territory. They didn't get what they wanted. Germany was also most affected by the Treaty of Versailles because the Treaty of Versailles blamed everything on them, the War Guilt Clause. Germany also had to pay reparations to other countries. Germany thought, let's create more money, and then we have a problem with inflation. So here you can see this picture of the guy sweeping up money on the ground because the money is now worth nothing. It's better burn it for some uh, warmth than to keep your money. People are not super excited about the Weimar Republic either. That's the new government. Um, in fact, uh, the Communist Party was very much against this this uh, government, it wasn't very strong, it was weak, and so um, the people aren't happy with their government. When they're unhappy with their government, they want a new government. Germany is also sad because it had to get rid of most of its military after World War I, making them just a weaker country in general. So this all leads to totalitarianism, total control. Here you can see some of our main characters. We've got Adolf Hitler, Benito Mussolini, and this guy right here, who's actually our friend in World War II, Joseph Stalin. So, vocab word of the day, totalitarian governments, total control. The rise of totalitarian leaders happens because the people are unhappy. They're dissatisfied after World War I. This is going to affect politics. When people are unhappy, they are willing to elect crazies into power. They wanted leaders who reflected their feelings, and they were, of course, angry and bitter, so they chose people that were really good speakers and promised a whole bunch of things for their country. Obviously, people that say that their country is going to be stronger is who they're drawn to, and they are willing to give up their basic freedoms in return for future glory. Kind of like in class when I tricked you guys, um, some of you were willing to eat a vegan lunch just to get recess. So these are the countries we're going to focus on. Germany, Italy, Japan, the Soviet Union. And in this video, we're going to talk about Italy. In Italy, the people are not trusting their government. This is going to lead to people wanting a new type of government. This guy right here, Benito Mussolini, is the guy that rises to power. And we're going to find out more about him when we talk about World War II in general. This is just more about how he comes to power in Italy and some of the things that he does. He promises a strong, orderly Italy. He tells all the people, I will make the trains run on time, which doesn't seem like a big deal, but that was exciting. And he did, in fact, make the trains run on time. He encouraged violence against socialists and communists who he blamed for all of this, all the problems in Italy. And he um, forms the National Fascist Party. So fascism is his political, um, his political power, and it means that everything is about the glory of the country. The country needs to become very, very strong, and you put aside individual rights and freedoms in order to make the country very strong. There he is. And here's his BFF, Hitler. He had a group called the Black Shirts that would go around basically just being thugs, making people scared. He established a dictatorship, and he took control of daily life. If you didn't like Mussolini, you were killed. So those are just the basics of Mussolini and the rise of dictators. We'll have more videos about Hitler, Stalin, and Tojo. Stay tuned.